I, I want to emphasize, you know, people in, especially in India, they are, you know, they are not rehab oriented. They think it's a waste of time. Well, it's not. First of all, it's very important to get to rehabilitations. What, remember, you know, when somebody has experienced some changes to the brain, even it can be a minor thing, a small thing, they definitely go through changes. You know, there, you know like we discussed earlier, the energy, you know, they will, um, especially with the younger patients, if they're going back to work, if they start making errors, they will not be able to retain their job. You know, they will lose their job. So rehabilitate, if they're experiencing, if they understand, you know, patients who do better with understanding, I feel that patients who develop good insight or awareness, okay, you know, this is not who I was before. I'm experiencing changes. That is the awareness of your understanding of your own limitations. That understanding will help them to gain better control of their life. You know, getting um, understanding, oh, you know what, I should, um, I should get some help. You know, delegating sometimes. It can be, let's say if the person is not going back to work also. It's a housewife. You know, set up, you know, things may not be, you may not be able to do everything. You know, you may be cooking something and you may forget that the stove is on and you may, you know, you may feel tired and you go back and sit down and, you know, some things can be burned. So that's a very classic example of uh, lapses in the patients are experiencing or people are experiencing in helping, um, you know, how to strategize that. Let's say the example is, you know, if the person is cooking or, you know, is sure that, you know, it, that's not sure whether they'll forget or not, you know, stay there. Don't leave it. If you're feeling tired, have a chair or a stool right where you're cooking. Um, and, you know, sometimes getting help is not bad. You know, we are, you know, we all want to be independent. None of us want to be asking for help. We worry, you know, if when we ask for help, it feels like, you know, we are, you know, looked down, which is not true. You know, even as, you know, um, when things get overwhelming, it's not good experience to feel because the more the overwhelming, there's so much anxiety with your own condition that you're going through. You know, there's so much fear factor. The emotions are going haywire. So understand and ask for help and make sure that, you know, the rehabilitation professional can give you some simple strategies that can help you using a book, a planner, a date reminder, uh, a physical therapy can help you to, you know, build your endurance, you know, activity tolerance. So depends on what you need to do. Let's say you are not, you know, somebody who has gone through breast cancer treatment and then they have a limitation in their range of motion. You know, there are occupational therapists who are specialized with lymphedema, with the brain, uh, breast cancer rehabilitation. They can help you to gain more range in the shoulder. So those things can be helpful at different levels.